And now, the starting lineup for the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County, Century 21. Brian Howell, Charlene Lamb, Adam White, David Deves, Jennifer Bradley, Jay Bradley, Jim Jarrett, Ruth Watson, Charlene Bradley, Raina Doverly, Yvonne Robertson, and broker George Durden. Count on the winning team to help you score every time. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com or call us at 478-272-1535. The winning team, Century 21, Durden Cornegay. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales will put you in the driver's seat today. Come see our great selection of quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Our sales professionals are ready and waiting. Come see TJ, Trey, Alec, and Britt at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Visit us at 606 East Jackson Street in Dublin, call us at 275-2010, or log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales will put you in the driver's seat today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. I'm your host, Scott Davenport, and as always, it's my pleasure to yes, be sir. here with Coach Ben Turner. Now, Coach, this past week, uh, we uh, started our region, mm -hmm. uh, our, our, region our march through the region, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we were just talking, you know, uh, before we came on about uh, softball team and we'll get to that later on but you know uh, you know a tough region that Irwin County you know is in well you know looking at uh, our football team you'd be hard-pressed to find a tougher region uh, to have to go through face Swainsboro one of the top 10 teams in the state uh, and uh, it was one of those things where I mean, again, a layperson, I, I saw some, some things that our guys did that were really, mm -hmm. did really well against Swainsboro, yes, and you, you're just simply facing uh, one of the best teams in the yes, state. Sir. Yes, sir. They're, they're actually my pick to win it all this year. Oh, they've been my pick to win it all since last year season, mm -hmm. uh, which they were ahead of schedule because I thought they were going to go quarterfinals and then win it this year. Um, but they are. They are a fine football team. And the, you're not going – I mean, 1 through 7A is hard to find as much speed as on the field um, mm -hmm. with when you play Swainsboro. Uh, and it, it, they're unbelievably fast. Uh, but, you know, I was really proud of the way we played, uh, you know, in a lot of situations. Our offense grew. Yeah. Our offense grew. We moved the ball and we, you know, we'd get, we'd get down the field and then we'd have something happen. Um, but we're starting to grow up a little bit up front. And, you know, we've talked about those young guys. You know, mm -hmm. the only, the young guys just they have to play more and more and more to get better and better. And, um, you know, they, they played their best game of the front or the year up front. Up front. Yeah. Uh, we were getting movement. We were breaking nice runs. Uh, we were able to throw the ball. That that was something we were, I was going to yeah, mention. Our our that was the best. Our pass game. pro. Our pass pro was really really mm. good the other night. Um, you know, it, it's being being a young football team and seeing stuff like that against a team like that makes you know that the future is bright. Um, because 
young guys weren't scared. No. Right? They went mm-hmm. out there and they blocked their uh, rear ends off and, and you know, gave us some opportunities for some things. Um, you know, defensively, we um, had some, you know, had some new guys starting, uh, you know, without us having dice. We had a um, freshman, another freshman make his first start. Uh, and, you know, he's going to be a great football player. You know, it's, it's, um, it's tough being a freshman making your first start against, you know, the best team in your classification. Um, but, you know, he played his, he played his rear off. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, yeah, it wasn't the outcome we wanted, uh, but the thing is we saw growth, and with a young football team, that's what you want to see. You want to see it grow, 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 and now let's see if we can pick some people off uh, on the back end of that schedule and, and slide into the playoffs, because you get into the playoffs, you're back again once to a, a, a zero and zero record. Yeah. Um, and so that's, that's what it's all about, is just, you know, holding, this, holding it together and, and getting better and, and, and seeing what you can make happen. Well, and you know, you mentioned growth and seeing that growth, like you said, against one of the best teams, if not the best team in the, in the state in, in your classification. Uh, looking at Swainsboro, uh, you know, for the future, uh, you know, one thing that I, I don't, did they, did they throw the ball? They don't no, throw it very that, much. I mean, I, 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 I'm trying to they recall. Did, they did. They threw. They threw a bunch of screens. They didn't. Okay. Throw it, they didn't throw it downfield. Um, they they threw some. Well, not a bunch of screens. They threw three or four. I was going to say three or four little more screens. Than three I, I passes. Think, I think they had like yeah. 20, 20 something yards passing. Uh, we missed some tackles coming up on yeah. on some stuff in the screen game because um, we had two of them. Should have been hits for a loss, uh-huh. uh, and the guy we bounced off of them, and and, and you know they gained they gained five six yards on yeah. us. Uh, but you know on the back end we did very well, but we knew they weren't going to throw the ball. Yeah, I mean that isn't what they do. They they run it, um, and they keep wheeling people in that can run it, and you know, <laughs> just grind and, and grind. Then and offensive grind, yeah. line, that offensive line is very very good. Um, you got to understand that 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 Swainsboro team, you know, was going through some things a couple of years ago where they had to play a bunch of young guys, and you know now they are where they are. Yeah. Um, you know they had a season where they were, you know they weren't they weren't real good, and then the next year they were better, and then the next year, which was last year's, and they were boom. they were really yeah. good, and now this year they're really really good. Um, but it is part of the it's part of the growing with the guys up front because, you know, no matter no matter how those skill guys look, no matter, you know, how much many athletes you got, if you ain't got and the big time. uglies up front and, and the time yeah. for the you, quarterback yeah. to dispense the ball. And so yeah. that that was the thing that I was really, really, really pleased about. And I know a lot of people on the outside looking in probably don't see it. They they see the score. Yeah. Uh, well, but they they should be they should be proud of the way the young guys played up front, and then we also had older guys step up um, the other night and, and and did very well on the offensive line for us, and you know um, so you know we just gotta gotta keep grinding, and you know we got Blackley this week, and you know you gotta keep getting better. I mean our our object's gotta be to get better every play, yeah, every play get better, get better, and. Um, you know, I thought the other night we did it. Uh, we had a chance, and man, it, we missed, we missed a block on a pass pro, or I think we hit kind for that touchdown where we just, just yeah. overthrow him, um, and that would have been big because you know Swainsboro was only giving up 19 points this season, period. Yeah. Um, through seven game, I think they might have played eight. They're off this week. Yeah, they through eight games they've only given up 19 points. So, um, you know, I, I was very pleased the way we moved the ball. Yeah. Um, and it's just going to get better. Yeah. Well, that was one of those things where I felt like, you know, we played our, our best game yeah. of the year. And, uh, you know, just happened to be against yeah. the best team. That's right. You know, it's one of those things where you play like that against some of the teams we played earlier in the year. You got to, you're, you're, if not a win, at least 
within one score, yeah. you know, of a win. Yeah, and that's, right. uh, that's uh, you know, just from a lay person's view of it, I, I you, you never please with a loss, but yeah. you know, it's one of those things where, like you mentioned, growth. Yeah. You saw growth and uh, uh, a team, you know, beginning to, I think, see they are. They what are. you're what you've been talking about, you yes, know, sir. for, you know, yes, a, a and, while now. You, you know. know, Friday, unfortunately, Eli went down on us, yeah. uh, but he's fine. Uh, it's still stuff where he's coming back from that leg thing that he, you know, every now and then just, it, he'll, start, he'll start hurting. Yeah. Um, and that that's all part of it. You know, I was hoping that we'd get a couple of guys back this week. When we do get Dice back, of course, but, um, you know, we uh, we like Dank and, and and Trey. We don't. Dank's really close. Trey, uh, he's, he's kind of a day to day thing. I don't. He. I got him another doctor's appointment this morning. And hopefully, hopefully they'll get him squared away soon. Um, and uh, but we won't have him this week. Um, but hopefully we'll at least get one of them back by next week. Um, yeah. Because I think that I think that um, Dankevius is. Is get he's progressing well. He's got a, a little sprained MCL, mm -hmm. um, and you know he's been doing he's been doing things and getting treatment. Um, he can jog now, uh, but he's still he's still not to a point where because you don't want to chance anything. Yeah, he's not to a point where we can put him out there and say we're not chancing something. So we'll hold him out and and keep on healing him up. And when we get him back, that'll be a That'll be a huge plus um, going down the stretch because he is a you know he's a go-to guy at receiver. Yeah. And so it, it, it's you know but we've had some guys step up in his absence. So you you know that's something you always look for. Yeah. All right. Well, folks, we're up against a break again. These businesses help make this show possible. Please honor them with your business. Folks are coming from all over to enjoy the country cooking at Minner General Store. Start your day off right with fresh cooked breakfast, including grits, bacon, eggs, sausage, and homemade biscuits. Lunchtime, stop in for delicious fried chicken, pork chops, and all your favorite meats and vegetables. Look for our specials, including hamburger steak. We also have all your feed, seed, and beverage needs. See why folks are driving from all over to enjoy the food at Minner General Store. Heather Harrison and I'm Kim Bracewell and I've been a member of KB Fitness Center for 10 years and I've been a member for over 20 years. Um, we love taking the strength training class here. The energy from the teachers is just fantastic and also I play racquetball and would love to have you come play racquetball with us. So come join us at KB Fitness Center. It's that time of year when we come together to support our team. And our team here at Dublin Chevy Buick GMC is here to support you. Let's take a test drive. Go, just get out there. Go! Whether it's helping you with your next purchase or just servicing your current vehicle. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. We've got your Chevrolet ready and enjoy your vacation. North and South! <laughs> There's a nip in the air and the games have been played. And we're in mid-season form here at Dublin Chevrolet Buick GMC. Hello, this is Andy Cullens at Cullens Supplier. You can mow with an attitude. It's our legacy, the driving force behind it ever more. It's a promise to every bad boy mower owner, and we offer powerful mowing performance across our entire mower lineup. And we do it all for mowing pros and demanding homeowners just like you. It takes brains and brawn to build a mower as regularly simple to operate and easy to maintain and provide the best value as a bad boy mower. Overbuilt and overhorsepowered since the very beginning, our mowers represent the best in delivering classic American muscle. We continue to improve the process of building and innovating our mowers so that every single one is delivered to you, ready to mow with an attitude. Visit us at Cullen Supply and Engine Service at 910 East Jackson Street in Dublin or 826 South Harris Street in Sandersville. 
Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amata equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amata, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. You're a Amata dealer. Amata lasts and lasts and lasts. And we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Uh, Coach, this week uh, we'll get to uh, Bleckley, you know, in the third segment. But this week, you know, the young guys, uh, you know, some of those young guys that had to step in on Friday, they get a chance on, uh, you know, for JV. Uh, what, well, the, the, un, the unfortunate thing is our young guys that have stepped in were counting on so much. So, yeah, they, I, I, our, our JV team, when we, when we went to Swainsboro a couple weeks ago, we sent, I think, 20 or 21. We just got so many young guys playing on the varsity, and now we're going to be minus one to two more. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're playing Dublin. I talked to Coach Holmes, you know, I was like, Coach, I said, everybody, I hate to ask this, but can we go without special teams? Because I'm going to send a very – scaled down version yeah. over there but the thing is no matter the outcome when they go up that we've got they've got to get playing time yeah uh, and you know it, it's a tough bunch so you know they they want to play and uh you know there there is still a lot of talent on that jv team i, I just wish that i could I wish that my soft. I wish we you were in a place. You feel like you were so depleted that, that, my, <laughs> that I could play my sophomores on JV and that I could play my all my freshmen on JV. Uh, but right now, um, I mean, shoot, you're talking about what? Like, let's see. I did this the other day. It's like, I, I, and I, I might be off a man or so, but it's like five sophomores are on offense right now and. Five or six are on defense mm -hmm. right now. It might actually be six on offense now. And then you've got a uh, you've got two freshmen on defense right now. So those are guys that I can't that I can't chance and go and mm -hmm. letting them play a couple of yeah. quarters just because we're we're counting on them. Uh, you know, in a, in a in a perfect world, I could. You know, like like I've said a million times before, I could send them and they could play four quarters and they could just get better as as yeah. a group. But um, we're we're at a point where you know I I, I can't do that. Right. Um, and and the thing is, when you're sitting there and we we've got a you know we've got 50 or so on the on the um, football team, you think you'd be able to send a little bit bigger group um, with the JV. But shoot, man. All right, so we're sending is mostly all freshmen, um, mm -hmm. and coach. I don't know. Okay, we do have a couple of sophomores that are they're on the JV, yeah. and then um, you know it, it's just it is what it is. Um, yeah, we we you know we've got to make sure that that we're good to go on a, on a Friday night. So I can't send you know those those several sophomores and. And those couple of freshmen, I just can't, I can't afford to send them to the JV. Yeah, and that, that's such is the the life of single A football. I mean, that that's you know around the state. I'm oh, sure yeah. that you know coaches are are uh, you know dealing with that same situation. You know, and uh, you know, I, it's like uh, well, a lot. I'm going to tell you, man, a, a lot of. It, it, it's crazy in these smaller classifications when a lot of when a lot of places get like we are and have all the young if they have the young guys having to play because they, they'll just have them on special teams yeah um, having to mm -hmm. cover stuff and then they're like well we can't lose them on special teams um, a lot of them just cancel the games mm -hmm. uh, and I I refuse to I refuse to do that because you know they work their they, they, they work their rears off at yeah. practice. Uh, you know, they deserve the right to go out there and to be able to play. Um, so, you know, we, we, we send what we've got, and they'll go out there and they'll play their hardest, and whatever happens, happens. And a lot, of, you know, it's like you are talking about earlier, you briefly mentioned if you just look at the score. Well, if you just look at the score, 
you're thinking, well, why are you sending these guys out to the slaughter? To get better. Well, the, thing, now, the, the thing is, now, they're playing They're playing pretty good. I mean, yeah. Like, oh, like, I, I don't mean yeah. it like a throwaway yeah. thing, but, like, you know, it's like. like Swainsboro, Swainsboro, they had a rough start. Uh, the first two plays on offense uh, in JV, we fumbled, and Swainsboro scooped and scored. And um, they ended up tacking on two more the rest of the game. Uh, we scored once, but it was after we just had some the miscues early. And if you don't have those miscues, you're talking about 14 to six or 14. Yeah, because we didn't get the we didn't get the two point conversion, so 14 to six. It ended up being 26 to six. Um, but you know that that was a group like I said that we sent 20, mm -hmm. um, 20 kids. Um, we were, we're having to make some linemen. Uh, it's just yeah. it's just a case. But um, but they're getting to play. They're getting the experience. And it's funny, like one kid that's been a, like a tight end H back, shoot man, because of JV, he's decided he wants to be a tackle. Yeah. Uh, and you know, heck, man, I'll take all the linemen. Yeah. Well, hey, when someone says I want to be a tackle, yeah, that's, <laughs> that, right. That, that, that's right. That's, that's right. Like, so that's like I want you to put that on me. Yep, so that's you know, some, that's, some things that's you something. Get. That's some things you get from um, JV when when you're when you're scaled down. Now, our original JV team when we were had the 26 to 28 um, kids that we were able to send. Um, before injuries and before losing some kids, um, you know they were, you know they were a pretty good. They were a pretty good little group. Um, now we've taken some away, but they're still a pretty good little group. Um, mm -hmm. With a, and there's a lot of talent spread out around it. So, yeah, yeah. And and there and there's nothing. I I don't care how hard you practice. You know how long you practice. There's nothing that compares with game. Breaks. Game. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Because game speed, uh, facing someone that you don't know, that you know is trying to rip your head off, yeah. and you're trying to rip theirs off. That's right. That's you, you can't get that. That's right. And these kids, you know, I um, mean, JV kids. I mean, they, you know, they line up and and they sit there and have to run other people's defenses and other people's offenses all the time and, and, and give scout looks. And, you know, that that's one thing that, I you know, I've been proud of. We, we've gotten good scout looks this year. I, mm -hmm. it, it's, it, I mean, it's been nice. I mean, and then you've had some older guys like uh, yes, our last few days at practice, um, Eli's been jumping back as a scout team running back. Mm -hmm. Well, when you put Eli and Norion back there, running back and quarterback, <laughs> dude, that is a good look. Look, right. And then the offensive, like line, the offensive line in front of them is doing very well. And, and it, it, it's been a good look. And it's, well, it's only going to Corvette back yeah, there in the backfield. It is know. only going to pay off for our varsity kids. So. Yeah. All right. Well, folks, we're up against another break. Again, uh, these businesses. They're, they're devoting, you know, their time and money to help support this show. Please help support them. Call Mr. Appliance for our speedy expert service. Are your appliances not performing correctly? Call 309-5960. Mr. Appliance of Dublin is your go-to company for dependable quality appliance service. Our experts are committed to delivering exceptional results in a timely manner, whether you need repairs, replacement parts, or general maintenance. Technicians are available on your schedule and always provide courteous, respectful, and quality work every time. Time. Our technicians always explain and ensure understanding so you'll never encounter surprise fees. Trust Mr. Appliance for residential and commercial repair, service, and maintenance. Call 309-5960. That's 309-5960. 309-5960. Serving Dublin and the surrounding area, Mr. Appliance and Speedy Expert Service, a locally owned and operated franchise. Hey, I'm Sam with AutoMax, your local repair shop. We're family owned and operated. Our mechanics are ASC certified, 100% satisfaction guaranteed service. We service all makes and models, foreign and domestic. So come see it at AutoMax, your complete auto repair. We also offer certified auto repairs, mufflers, brakes, engine repairs, diagnostic struts, suspensions, and a whole lot more. Come see us at AutoMax, 
707 Kellum Road, Dublin, Georgia, or call us at 606-6868. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Since 1916, Gravely has been designed, engineered, and made right here in the USA. Whether you prefer gas or electric, every Gravely has been forged with the commercial landscaper in mind. So they're not only built to last, but to also keep you riding comfortably from dawn to dusk. So ask yourself, are you ready to graduate to a Gravely? Find your new Gravely mower at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. Hi, I'm Tom Domney, Dublin Wind Nelson Company. We're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wind Nelson, our goal is long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road or give us a call at 478-272-3585 at Dublin Wind Nelson. Hello, I'm Jim Tanner from JT's Farm Market. Come out today and see us for all your meat and produce needs. We got sauces and spices for whatever you're cooking up at JT's. Now at JT's, we got JT's Barbecue Shack. We have pulled pork, ribs, chicken, hamburgers, hot dogs, and all the fixings for all your needs. All the beef that we cooking is locally grown. Come by and see us today at 728 Central Drive, East Dublin, Georgia, or call in orders at 609-9850. And we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Now, Coach, this week, you know, again, uh, it seems like our region, we, we got the people that, you know, folks that have been here as long as I have and, and longer, these are the teams we remember, you know, mm -hmm. facing. Uh, you know, we've had our, our time moving around yep. regions all over the place, but this is the one that, uh, you know, Bleckley County uh, mm -hmm. down in Cochrane. Uh, they, they have been, you know, you mentioned Swainsboro the past few years moving up. Well, Bleckley County has been at the top of that cusp, that arc. And, uh, you know, what are things that uh, y you notice from the Bleckley County squad? Well, I mean, first of all, you know, I mean, they've got a very fine coaching staff. Mm -hmm. and, you know, they've done a great job with them. Uh, Bleckley is loaded with a lot of speed. Now, they're not loaded with Swainsboro speed, but they're loaded with a lot of speed all over the field. Um, they also, you know, Coach Nobles runs the weight room over there, and he does a great job. They're very physical and very strong. Um, you know, they've got a lot of good-looking kids. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not – they don't have the Marius Mims up front right now. Yeah, yeah. But they've got a lot of <coughs> – a lot of just very good looking high school football players. Um, up front on defense, they've got you know long athletic bodies that are, that, that are well built. You know they're not they're not six three three hundred, but you're talking the six two two thirty five two forty kid that's just beautiful and pass. It ain't got some, yep. some speed. Yep. Yes, that can run. That can run. And mm -hmm. what they do on defense, you know, that's what they need. They don't need the big, uh, the big space grabbers. They need they need the cats that can can run around. And then you know you've got a very solid linebacking core that just fits off of everybody up front and does a really good job. Uh, and then on the back end, you know, they run a lot more man than we've seen this year. Uh, but when you got them. I mean, might as well. Might as well. Yeah. And and that's what they do. A um, lot of man free stuff and uh, different things. Now I mean they'll give you some other stuff, but uh, you know they they believe that their guys are good enough to get out in space and 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 cover cover up whatever they need to cover up. And you know they've done a very good job. They you know they had a hiccup against Dublin a few weeks ago where they had. Um, they rushed for bukus of yards. They'd get down and 
something would happen, throw an interception, or they had a punt ran back against them for a touchdown. They just, you know, they had some things that um, that really changed the tide of that football game, and they ended up um, taking a loss. So I think they've been a little bit angry since then. <laughs> um, yeah. But, uh, you know, they're, they're a very good football team. They have two backs that, I mean, you're talking two backs are as good as any. Um, you know, one one is a smaller slasher guy. Um, he's well built. Now he he's not a small frail guy by any means, but he's if you look at the two backs, he's the one that you would say was the little lightning compared to the other guy, which is a, a, a big back. <laughs> but the thing is, the big back can roll out. He's just not as jitterbug. Yeah. Um, so you know, and they've got a quarterback. Man, that quarterback, dude. It seems like I th he's been. It seems like he's been starting forever over there. Um, that is just a great high school football player. I mean, anytime you've got a quarterback that you can shift over, you know, before the snap to turn it into a wildcat formation, and then him go lead block on a power or something or yeah. whatever they're running, you know, I mean, he's just a, he's a tough kid. He's a well built kid. Kid, um, you know, so it's. Um, they're, they're a good football team. Uh, you know, the, the thing is, we look at it, we played a lot of good football teams because I, I don't know if people realize this, but, you know, it, it, we set this up to, to, to test our mettle. Um, but every team that we have played this season to this point, even Bacon County, all right, are going to be in the playoffs. playoffs. Yeah. I mean, that, that, that's just, that's how it is. Well, like you look at top ten, Swainsboro, top ten, Blakely County, top ten, Dublin, yeah. top ten. Jefferson's the only one that, yeah. you know. Yep, and, and and then our and then if you roll off our non-region games, it was it was the same way. Yeah. Um, but you know, I the the thing is right now it's all about trying to. You know, if you win right Bill. now, if you win three, you're the number two seed. If you win two, I. Uh, you're the number three, three seed. If you're win one, you're the number four seed. Uh, it's about trying to get into the playoffs. And our kids have been very positive. I mean, you know, it was – it Friday, they had every opportunity – To fold to, up. To fold up. But, man, and that, I'm going to tell you, that was probably the most positive uh, we've been – I mean, I, it, it's – it's our tides are changing on just the way we view things. Um and so, you know, if, if we'll stay positive like that, I, I do believe that we're going to figure out a way. Um, I'm not going to say what seed. I'm not going to sit there and say we, we might roll out and win all three. I'm not going to say we're going to win all two. I'm not going to say we'll win one. But I think that we have the mentality going in the right direction to win, what it, you know, win mm -hmm. the games. Yeah. Um, so now we just have to continue. We have to continue that and continue to get better. Yeah. And, you know, anything that can help these guys be positive about mm -hmm. the, the blood, sweat, and tears that they're going through yeah. is good. Yes, sir. Yeah, and, you know, I think that bodes well for the future. Yes, sir. Uh, now, we also have softball going on. The girls are over at Heard County uh, for the, their super regional. Yesterday, uh, they faced Irwin County. Yes, sir. Uh, ended up losing that game eight to six, so that dropped them down to the losers bracket. They've got it in order to get to the championship game. They've got to win two, uh, yeah. two o'clock, four, four o'clock, and then six. Then six o'clock in the championship game. Those girls can do it. And those, yeah, those they girls can do it. Can do it. Uh, you know that they, they were they were in control of the Irwin County game and. Uh, you know, they were fa going in as a three seed, a very strong three seed. Well, I said they were the hottest three seed in the state. Cause yeah. Like, what did they won, like 11 games in a row or something? I think it was nine. Nine games. Nine. Okay. They, they, they lost against uh, Johnson okay. that last okay, game. Okay, okay, they okay, would have okay. made it 10 in a I row. And that was one of those that could have gone I got you. either way. Um, but if there's a team that can that pop off three wins in a row, uh, it's our girls. Uh, they've got the pitching, they've got the defense, they've got the offensive firepower uh, with uh, 
uh, Madison Cheek and uh, well it's not just Madison and uh, uh, Deanna uh, I mean they, they've got pop in the bat from I'd say at least seven out of nine and then the other two they it's not that they don't it's just they're more spray hitters you know uh, but uh, you got seven girls that can that can mash it and uh, so Looking forward to hearing good things uh, this afternoon from them, uh, and then uh, that you you come out of that super region. Uh, uh, I, I honestly don't know who they, I don't where know. they go uh, next. Uh, that's something we'll <laughs> let you know next week. But uh, this Friday, Blackley County short drive down to Cochran. Uh, you know, 7.30 game yes, time, and be there in your black and gold, cheering our guys on, and as always, Go, go Falcons. Falcons. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank, big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy and uh, we're just excited to have it and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic, Medical Drive in Dublin. All right, boys, if you wanna to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kid's college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kid's college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar, depositing that spare change into a Moolah account, where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representative for Lawrence, Trutland, and Johnson Counties is proud to support our local high schools, our East Lawrence Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Lawrence Raiders, the Trutland County Vikings, and the Johnson County Trojans. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representatives, go team! It's time to get in those plots. Five-way deer mix, three-way econo, 4S Harvest Advantage, oats, rye, rape, peas and beans, and clover. Don't forget to pick up your spreader and some fertilizer when you head out the door. Need a new feeder? Roach Farm and Garden carries boss, buck, and moultrie, spin, and gravity. Even got them that hold 600 pounds. That's a lot of feed. Speaking of feed, Roach Farm and Garden carries 4S Draw, FRM, Wild Game Innovation, and even Antler Extreme. Whole kernel corn, corn on the cob. Pick up your salt blocks and even have trophy blocks. Don't forget, Roach Farm and Garden carries trapping supplies so you can take control of your property. It's right next to the 4S draw. You need something to cook your game? Roach Farm and Garden has grills, griddles, fryers, and smokers. Roach Farm and Garden carries a full line of patio furniture, flags, wind chimes, and bird feeders. Don't leave out of here with some holy boots and shoes. We got a full line of Carhartt and Georgia boots. Bring the whole family, because there's something for everyone at Roach Farm and Garden. Two locations, Dublin and Wrightsville. <laughs> 